what's up gamers now i know it's been a while since we've done some cassette beast content but cassette beast just released their new dlc uh it's kind of like a haunted pier so it's kind of like you know just in time for halloween it's been a while since i've played uh. so we're just kind of gonna hop back on and do the dlc i don't remember the strategies i had for any of my uh any of my cassette beats that I've had before, except for Meredith's Catelli. That's the only strategy I remember I had. So still kind of a little bit new. Um, I'm hoping the monsters are a higher level because I'm like around level 140. It's going to suck if the monsters aren't at that level. Because uh, the last DLC they released, the monsters were very, very low level. And it kind of seemed like what was the point of playing it if I was already like past level 100 and they weren't even up there. But we're going to hop into this new DLC and see what they have planned for us. Ah, ah, just the face I was hoping to see. A patron of this fine establishment told me of a peculiar sighting they saw earlier, an abandoned rowing boat selling itself to shore not too long ago. Sounds strange, no? I thought that you would like to hear about it, given that you and your friends adore, adore discussing strange occurrences right here in my cafe. Rowing boat, okay. I forgot the game like loads as you're traveling. Huh? Huh? Is that a rowing boat? Normally stuff like that only arrives on New Rural in pieces. Get in the rowing boat? Sure. Come on, Meredith. The rowing boat begins to move. Is this where the boat was meant to take us? Where are we? Do you think? Can I swim out here? Okay, you can't swim out here. There are lights in the distance. Um. Right side pier, huh? I'm liking the song. Vagrants and vagabonds of the audience. Are you sitting comfortably? Uh... There are no seats here. Are there meant to be chairs? Um... Are, are you standing comfortably? Uh... Good. Then let us begin the show. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. The time draws near. Come one, come all. To Brightside Pier. I am Gwen. Oh, I like that design. Humble host and ring mistress of Brightside Pier. You have received a special invitation to the grand reopening of this once in a lifetime carnival of entertainment. Or at least that's what I would be saying if this place was ready for the public. Unfortunately, I'm having some technical difficulties. What's going on? Well... The pier's three main attractions are each powered by rusty old machines that keep them running day and night. Something has happened to these infernal engines, and now their instability threatens the safety of the entire pier. This happened on my watch, and because of the nasty blighters that have since moved in, I am unable to fix them myself. I sent out the boat to your island in hopes that someone would come and help me resolve my slight predicament. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm following so far. You need our help. Well... Like we're straight to the point. What do you think? Do you think you'd be able to give these infernal engines a good old wallop to make them work again? Sure. Fantastic. I knew from the moment I saw you that you would be up to the task. Around the pier, you'll be able to find prize tickets. If you collect enough of these, I would exchange them for a pass to let you into an attraction. Why don't you just give me the passes? Mm -hmm. I am duty bound as both a host and a clown to abide by the rules of the establishment. Besides, it's more fun this way. Disable the three infernal engines at right side pier. Okay, map doesn't huh. seem that big. I guess we should take a look around then. I 
was like, is there anything back here? Can we go in here? I see there's a switch up top. wave okay water fill tape can we get in here can't get in here Racking up the prize tickets. Can I do anything with this? Can I do anything with this? Okay. Opening here. I fell through. Oh my god, I think we're stuck. Do we make it? Okay, I was like, I think we might be stuck. That definitely sucked. Um, so that is some prize tickets. Do we go back and talk to her? Hello. I want to. Let me hear about you. Hmm. You're asking about me? <laughs> Why? I'm just little old Gwen. I may be the custodian of the pier, but more than anything, I'm here to learn how to create. I spent a lot of my, a lot of my early life. Watching people create things, stories, experience, the very act of making something from nothing that brings people joy has always fascinated me. I hope that answers your question. Oh, she's the villain. Hello. She's definitely the villain. Uh, let me see. I have five prize tickets. I'll get the red one because I know this is red. I guess the ride just failed its safety inspection. Do you think we could walk across it like this? Okay, so this is how I get across. Please don't fall again. Cosmic zone. Is there anything back here? <gasps> this! What do I do with this? Take it in here with me. Can I take it in here with me? I cannot. Um. This reminds me of about six different nightclubs I've been to. They all smell worse than this place, to be fair. Is that a new monster? A rocket ship monster? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Wait a minute. Two new monsters. Monotorm and Charlie Quinn. 
They're level 18. So I know it won't take much to capture them. This also makes me a little sad because I feel like anybody else we run into. I forgot she had multi target. Oh my, it's been so long since I played this. I forgot I have multi target. Um, But yeah, them being level 18 kind of makes me sad because it feels like whatever else I run into won't be near my level. Charlie Quinn. The Charlie Quinn uses his oversized sleeves to store items used for public performances. This includes fireworks, flammable materials, incinerating devices, and more. Okay. Spit. Prismatic. Randomizes the user's type at the end of each round, and that sounds kind of dope. Uh, bad joke. Use it to post a random joke. <laughs> Well, we have to find another rocket ship now. Can I grab this? Oh, this is time. Okay. Uh, I will leave you here. We get to fight the rocket ship so I can get a rocket ship. We already have a brat suit, so we don't need that one. Hopefully the monsters get stronger as we play through. Hopefully. Minor Tom. Minor Toms were once novelty automatons designed to entertain guests at a theme park on some unremarkable parallel Earth. Long outliving their creators, they have since gained a mechanical sentience of sorts and now look to sell the stars like the space rockets they have they resemble. Ooh, high melee attack, high HP, high melee defense. Uh, Ray shields, spring armor. Doesn't look like anything too crazy, but I really want to see the new monsters, like to see if they like uh, can evolve. So I'm going to go back and put them in my party. So they do evolve, okay. What is a clown's purpose? Oh, so this one has a split evolution line, so I have to catch another one to terrify. Your Charlie Quinn tape became frag -lachi? The frag -lachi's whole body is something akin to a ballistic cannon. Its face is merely a cover to the cannon's barrel which is able to fire objects with a terrifying velocity. Velocity. Okay. Minor Tom tape became Major Tom. <laughs> Minor Toms that upgrade their space rocket bodies can eventually advance to become Major Toms. Their large fuel tanks are filled with a powerful liquid propellant that can launch them into low orbit, finally realizing their dream of space travel. So we can kind of just kind of like run through and do puzzles. The monsters are like low level. So it's not like we need to fight them. Get out of here. Uh, oh. 
Okay. What the flip? Okay, I don't know how they managed to like get close enough to be to hit me. I did not see them there. so the switch doesn't work. I'm... Meredith. Lunar key. A silver key with a moon motif found in the cosmic zone. Okay. <laughs> it was a very weird uh puzzle. I'm assuming we're going to need this for over here. I tried to jump past it. Come on! If only they matched, like, my level. So, I just remembered that you could change the level scaling on, like, the enemies you faced. <gasps> I didn't make it! Oh my gosh, I am godlike. I think I came the wrong way though. So at least if I uh, happen to get into a random battle, uh, the battle will be more of a challenge. I guess that's just to get back. I don't have the key for this. What am I supposed to do with this block? <gasps> I was like, well, I can't avoid that guy. He's like taking up the entire platform. Okay, so 114. This is a lot better. Because now at least I have like a reason to fight. Let's go. Catelli's still being broken. Well, that's just Meredith and Catelli. I was like, I don't think I'm going to make that. Okay. 
another prize ticket. Do I bring you over here? It's kind of feel like an idiot carrying this block around and I don't know what it goes to. We missed a still AP? Oh my god. I was gonna say, I don't think it really mattered. That thing doesn't have too much defense. There we go. I was like, this block has got to go to something. <gasps> I thought I threw it off the cliff. Are you going to fight me after the cutscene? Okay. I was like, are you just going to float above me until the cutscene is over? Okay. Another prize ticket. This would send me, but we have the lunar key, right? This dungeon place is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. <gasps> oh, that was close. I suck at platformers, so I'm not very good at jumping. Green switch. Oh, okay. I was close. It was shocking. This is the solar key. And we got deep freeze. Freezes the opponent's cassette player, inflicting them with tape jam status. Okay. We didn't make that. Wait a minute. I refuse to believe we can't make that. There we go. I was like, I refuse to believe we couldn't make that. Can we leave? Can we not leave? Is this not the way to leave? Okay, I was like, I was like, can we not leave? The green switch. Another treasure chest. We have the solar key, so we, I'm assuming we have to head back. Another prize ticket. Racking up the prize tickets. I like it, I like it. this I didn't make it okay spaceship no I made it around the spaceship but got stopped by the rocket
have the solar key. I feel like with my glide ability, I don't necessarily have to like use the switches. Red engine key, poison resistance. Is there anything over here that I might have missed? Switch. Oh, the switch puts me up here. Okay. Yeah, because this definitely seems like for a specific point in the game where you don't have the enhanced movement abilities. Aha! Oh no. That was rude, Dor. You didn't have to move me to the side like that. Uh. It's too bloody hot in here. I'm dressed for the occasion at... I'm not dressed for the occasion at all. Is that an archangel? Is this the engine we're looking at? New song? It's really weird because I set the bosses to scale up to our level. It's astral, so I don't want to hit it with shock attacks. But we do have the copper chop. Wire into the leech. And we do the revenge. I'm I'm remembering what this monster does now. Okay. I am definitely remembering now. Yeah. Uh, because if it gets hit with a physical move, it automatically does leech. And then we use toxic stab to like apply leech and to apply uh poison. Yep. I remember what this monster does now. star. Yep. The shooting star isn't a physical move. We can apply leech. Another copper chop. Shooting star, which is okay. There's the poison. There's the leech. Magnet once again. Another copper chop. Just let Meredith do her thing and like build up damage. Shooting star is okay. We're tanky. We can go for a toxic. Oh, wait a minute. I actually think we KO it here. Self-destruct. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic work, Odd. Uh, this attraction is officially stable once more. One machine down, two to go. That engine just tried to grind us into a fine pace. You're not telling us something, mate. Are you an archangel? I don't know what an archangel is. All I know is that something strange happened to the engines here, and now they're like that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. 
I'll see you back on the pier, Odd. I don't trust clowns. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, so first attraction down. I still have this, and I don't know what to do with it. I haven't seen anywhere that would, like, require a blue block or anything like that. I throw it on here? No. Well, I haven't been all the way over here. Magic Crab! Okay, camera change. That's the next attraction. I found the boss is calling. Eh. I think I missed. Eh. Whoa. Eh. Another switch. Is there anything up here? Racking up the prize tickets. I'm assuming. Yep. I need another ticket for there. This should be back here. Okay, I can rest up. Meredith works up the courage to compliment your appearance. I can actually re-add the other clown. So I can see what the other evolution is. Now we can involve the Charlie Quinn into the entertain part. Blunderbusk. Okay. More speed, melee defense, and this one has ranged attack. The Blunderbusk is able to fire projectiles with his hand by pointing their hands like guns. So it's got the spirit gun. Okay. It has a very accurate aim too, despite the fact that it's always rocking back and, back and forth and also lacks eyes. <laughs> okay, I like that. 